Hey people, you like what you're seeing on your screen, right? Yes, I'm going to be showing you how to grill a whole fish with no single flavor missing. You guys don't want to miss out on this one. Watch this video to the end. Hi guys, my name is Tolani and I'm Diary of a Kitchen Lover. As usual, watch this video to the end to see how I made this one. Let me run you guys through the ingredients I'll be using to make this almighty tilapia fish. Of course, tilapia fish is already descaled, you can see. I think I'll post a video of how to descale a fish. So this is it. It was so expensive though, you guys. I bought this for 4,500 naira. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on. I'll be using spring onions, red bell peppers. This is parsley and curry leaf. I'll also be using some fresh garlic and some fresh scotch bonnet. I'll be using some chili and onions. These were already smoked, but please use fresh ones if you don't have this. Um, then for spicing, um, this is how it will work. I'll do a dry rub on the fish first and then proceed to do like a wet rub before we now grill. You get it. So for the dry rub, I have onion powder i have curry i have cayenne pepper i have paprika i have um fish seasoning this is crayfish seasoning and fish seasoning these are what i have i'd also be using some salt and black pepper and some oil i'm gonna list out everything in the description box like we always do so that you guys can catch a glimpse of it so let's get straight into business now I'll start by making incisions on the fish. I'll do this for both sides. This is just to, you know, allow the spices penetrate inside the fish. I'll then proceed to mix my spices. I'm going to put the quantity also in the description box for you okay so once this is done I'll get some oil and um, drizzle some oil over the fish so that you know the dry spices can stay well on the fish I'll do this for the other side also and then go in with the dry rub. Okay, now that this is done, you set it aside and let the dry ingredients sit well inside the fish. And then we'll go and proceed to, and then we'll proceed to make the, the wet ingredients. That's the, the um, herbs and the peppers. So let's get started. Yeah, we're good to go. Blend. I want to blend the mixture now, so I'm going in with the spring onions. I'll add my herbs, that's the parsley and the curry leaf. I 
add the garlic and peppers can you see onions and chili they call this shombo and then some bell peppers i'll be adding a little oil to this i will not be adding water at all the goal is to keep it as rich as possible you guys guys please before you blend add your seasoning i actually omitted that part so you add your seasoning and salt or if you just want to use only seasoning me i'm using only seasoning so i'm just going to add to this and just blend again so i have my fur pepper here i'm going to place the fish here so this is the seasoned fish in the foil and uh, I'll go in with the mixture. Ooh, you guys, this looks really good already. And then you just add everything together just like this. I'm going to use this liner for the big pan so that doesn't stick to the body and then we go straight to the oven You can tell that this fish will be bursting with so many flavors i mean with the mixture of the herb the pepper and the dry ingredients oh my goodness you can use this particular recipe for your chicken your other types of fish and any other type of protein you would like to grill it is so simple so straightforward and super yummy i hope you guys are going to be trying this Please let me know in the comments if you found this interesting and if you would want me to post any other recipe that you've been curious about, please let me know in the comments also. Like usual, the description box has all the ingredients and all the measurements. I would like for you to subscribe if you haven't already done that and thank you also if you have subscribed and you are watching my videos. Thank you for watching always and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!